Coming up on WAD TV Season 9, Episode 1. Grade 4 biathlon highlights, a cyber safety tip, an exclusive interview with Hanley Prinsloo, word on the street, and of course, our reminders for the week. I'm Maxwell, and welcome to the very first episode of WAB TV for the school year. Hey Louie, remember our unit about how the past is connected to the present? Yeah, why? Well, did you know the word biathlon comes from two ancient Greek words? Bi, meaning two, and athlon, meaning competition. Oh, right, that makes sense. So biathlon is a sport with two different competitions. Cool, just one question though. What? Why are you telling me this? It's called a segue. Go look it up, Louie. S-E-G-U-E. In this week before the October break, the grade three, four, and five students competed in a very tough biathlon. Web TV went along to check out the grade three event. In the week before the holidays, the amazing Olympic Dream Series Biathlon was on. Web TV was there to film the act. Web TV. The race was wonderful. The rain cleared after the previous day, so it was great for the grade three race. Wow. The competitors swam really hot. Sprinted in the hot sun as fast as they could. See, yeah. <laughs> Many students enjoyed their time and did their very best. Isabella representing Ethiopia. How do you feel winning the third grade biathlon? I said that. Did you train for this race? No. Yeah, I, yeah, we did. Did you expect that you were going to come first? Did you no. think you were going to? Congratulations, Congratulations for all the people who participated. I'm Ollie. And I'm Peppy. Now, now it's, it's back, back to, to the, the studio. studio. That biathlon is really tough. It is. I can't find it. What does Segway mean? Ta-da! This is week's competition. Find out what Segway means and send us an email with the word used in the sentence to win this cool web mouse. I think everyone's probably figured out by now that this year is Web's 20th birthday. Sophia and Jeremy went out and asked what you would give Web for a birthday present in this week's Word on the Street. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and for this time on Word on the Street, we ask... What would you get? What do you give Wab for for a present? Let's go find out. If you can give Wab any birthday present, what would it be? A water slide. A water slide. What would I give it for a present? Another Mr. Mac. <laughs> <laughs> well, I give Wab a big cake, a big birthday cake to celebrate. I would give Wab a garden so it could nourish its children with healthy, organic vegetables. A um, big kids' playground? Well, not really for kids, for grade five. Yeah, yeah for playground. grade five, like really exciting and stuff. It's like dangerous. Yeah. Okay. Um, a giant tiger float? Um, a giant trampoline. You could give Wab anything for his birthday. What would it be? I think I would give Webb for its 20th anniversary, I would give Webb a whole year of beautiful days like this. No pollution, blue skies, nice temperature. I think that I would give them this ginormous mosquito eating machine for the secret garden. Why? Well, too many kids are getting eaten alive. Thank you. Hey Maxwell, do you ever get weird comments on your blog? Yeah, I do, especially recently. What's up with that? In this week's cyber safety tip, Oscar and Anna are going to tell us what's up with that. Oh, look, I got a comment. Hey, what's this? Oh, no, here's a spam. Ah, you got a spam comment. So far this year, there was so much spam comment on our blogs. Today we're going to show you how to get rid of them. 
First, you go to your dashboard. Then you go to your comments section. Then see your spam, then click spam. Hold on, ready you pass, you stupid little spam punk. Remember, if you get a spam comment, just put it in your spam box or just delete it. Before the break, Wab TV's Anna and Aria were lucky enough to secure a private interview with South African freediver Hanley Prinsloo. Let's see what they found out. Hi, I'm Anna and this is Aria. And we're from Wab TV. Firstly, we'd like to thank you for letting us interview you. It's a pleasure. We read on Wikipedia that you are conserving and protecting the world's oceans through human experience. What does that mean? Protecting the world's oceans through human experience means that we take children and youth who haven't had a chance to experience the ocean and we actually teach them swimming and we teach them freediving and we take them into the water because we believe that when you really fall in love with something, you want to protect it. So basically what it means is we help people to fall in love with the ocean and that makes them protect the ocean. Why do you use a single, um, a single fin? We've learned from whales and dolphins the best way to move through the water is to have our feet together and have a big fin on it. And it's called a monofin. And when you, <coughs> swim, up like a, with, when you swim with a monofin, you actually feel like a dolphin. What happens if you're deep in the, like, down low in the ocean and you run out of breath? That's a very good question. We freedivers train to never be in that situation. We never just go, hmm, I think I'm going to be able to do 50 meters today and swim down to 50 and go, Oh no, I can't get back up. You always do it slowly, slowly, slowly to get back up. My, my question is, um, do you get scared of sharks? I think the very first time I dived with sharks, I did get a little bit scared, but now I know them so well that I'm not scared of sharks at all. I've dived with tiger sharks, bull sharks, black tip sharks, and I understand them, you know, they're really good hunters but they're not hunting me. When was your favorite diving experience? I've had a lot of favorite diving experience, but Last year, I had the chance of swimming with sperm whales in Sri Lanka and I had a baby sperm whale leave his family because the family went down to dive and hunt the giant squid and the baby sperm whale hung around with me and played with me and was diving down and waiting for me and then I'd go down and we'd go up to breathe and we were playing this like funny whale human tag <laughs> and I think that that's my favorite diving experience. We read on a website that when you were young, you knew how to speak um, mermaid language. Can you teach us? <laughs> <laughs> I can try. So my sister and I figured out like the squeaks that meant different things underwater. And you literally just go like... <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to thank you so much for letting us interview you. And we hope that you can have a great time in Beijing. Thank you. I'm sure I will. Uh, but before you go... Um, we would like to like have like a breathing contest with you oh. for one minute. Okay. Everybody who's watching this, you better be doing it. Okay. We're gonna do it. We can practice this together. Then we're gonna lie down, take a big breath, and hold our breath for one minute. Oh. First, <laughs> you think of your lungs as three spaces: stomach, chest, and shoulders. And when you take a big breath, you fill up those three spaces. So to begin with, so you guys do this with me, you breathe everything out of your lungs. So breathe out. Then you start breathing into your stomach, chest, shoulders, And once you take that big breath, you need to relax while holding it, okay? So now we're gonna lie down on our backs. We're gonna take five deep, slow breaths. And then at the end of our fifth breath, we all take a big breath like that, and then we hold it. I couldn't hold it right. Okay, two more breaths. One last breath in and everything out. Everything out. Now fill up nice and deep.
10 seconds. 15. 25. 30 seconds. 40 seconds. 15 to go. Last 10. 9, 8, <laughs> 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Minute. <laughs> you guys did so well. Wow, it's amazing how much longer you can hold your breath for with those training techniques. Now, for this week's reminders, ISA assessments are coming up this Thursday and Friday. No pressure, though. So make sure you got plenty of rest. No pressure, though. Make sure to drink a lot of water. No pressure, though. Study a lot, like do 8,000 math problems. No pressure, though. And find the cure for cancer. No pressure, though. But anyway, good luck on the test. And still, no pressure, though. Grade 4 and 5 lunchtime soccer begins today, so... Go kick a ball? Don't forget this week's competition. Find out what segue means, use it in a sentence, and email us here at wabtv at es.wab.edu. Until next week, I'm Maxwell. And I'm Louie, and you've just watched Season 9, Episode 1 of... Wow, TV. Wow, TV.